Welcome to another episode of Opinionated Facts. I'm your host, Drizzle, and today we got a special guest in the building, Louisville artist Dave Will Chris. What's good? How you doing? I'm doing all right, bro. How are you? Man, I'm great. That's, that's uh, We didn't uh, sat here and chopped it up long enough. Yeah, you yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And uh, got a little familiar with you. you know yeah, what I'm saying? yeah. So, so yeah. just just tell the tell the people about uh about how long you've been rapping, making music per se. Um, man, I've been. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you said, because I've been making music since I was 12, um, started with like music production, making beats, um, and try to give like the condensed ver- version of the story, but like, I, um, I moved, I'm originally from Gary, Indiana, so I moved here, uh, to Louisville with my pops, and, um, you know, at the time, he was a single father, yeah. and um, he was just trying to figure out, like, what I was into, like, you know. And so, he was just basically like, what do you want to do for the rest of your life? And I was, like, obsessed with, like, Pharrell and the Neptunes. And I didn't even know what it was to be, like, a producer, but <clears throat> I just kind of, we I remember we were watching a movie, and I just kind of wanted to get back to the movie or whatever. So, I was like, ah, I want to be a music producer. My man came through the next day with like two books that like pretty much had the layout of how to like be a part of the music business, how to start a record label. And then that same year for my birthday bought me a synthesizer keyboard. Um actually that synthesizer keyboard. <laughs> um and was like, you know, it just opened up a whole lane for me to like create. And so I was like making beats and writing raps here and there, but not like rapping like a whole bunch, but you know, here and there. But like when I really started to take it seriously was in 2014, like when I really started like here um, on the scene, just kind of discovering like people like Don B um, and being influenced by people like Good Bar, um, Jalen Rose, it was James Lindsay now, yeah. but um, yeah, just like seeing them like do their thing, it was just like man, it just really was what led me what led me here. So what would you, what would you say is your, what would you say your style is like musically? Um, I would say, um. Isaiah Rashad meets Currency um, with a little bit of, like, reflection from, like, an Earl sweatshirt. Um, Which Earl? Which Earl? Oh, I see what you mean. Um, (laughs) um, The... Uh, like more like I, I would say some rap songs like Earl um, or I don't I really I don't like shit I don't go outside yeah Earl okay because that, that album really like influenced me a lot like in terms of like um, just like just being transparent yeah 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 no Earl Earl man I was, Earl was supposed to be one of them ones like he was, what you mean? Suppose. I think Earl is definitely one of them. Earl ones. was supposed to be okay. The way that to it was me. set, up, the way that it and I, the way that it was set up, it was, it was, it was Tyler. So you had right the future. Tyler was the guy, and he, but they kept yeah. saying Earl was better, and Earl was really going to be the it was like the he, whole he is though it was like the whole bleak and whole shit like bleak yeah. is next bleak is gonna like yeah he's I, supposed I, to I, take that leap to be that nigga like whatever tyler was yeah. earl was supposed to be bigger than that like mm, earl earl was supposed I, I to be the saying. earl was supposed to be the one that we like damn that nigga earl sweatshirt now most people be like damn that nigga tyler like and it's it's I see tyler what you're tyler saying, is but... But Earl is He's so respected in such he a is. way that is like it's yes, and like, so is and so is Memphis Bleak, and so is Joel Santan. Like these guys, no, and that's no disrespect to to Memphis Bleak or Joel Santana at all. Like I think they're incredible, but Earl is 
is something way d- because those those artists and again I don't because I don't want to disrespect the greats yeah are still seen as like proteges. Earl, what people made the mistake of is yeah. Earl is not a protege. Earl is 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 Earl. Earl is not to sound corny, but he's the prototype. Like he's what artists model them. He cre he created so many babies, bro. Like there's so many rappers that sound just like Earl. Yeah. To the point where I don't even recognize if it's him or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, Tyler's so we, a different beast. Yeah, like, so, Tyler is in a whole superstar lane. Like, he's making shoes for Louis Vuitton. Yeah, like, yeah well, that's what I'm saying. So, you, you're you speaking on stylistically, on the person that Earl is. Like, he's the original. He's the protege. Like, he, I mean, not the protege. He's the, he's, uh, he's he's the prototype. The, he's yeah, the prototype. he's... That's what yeah. I'm saying. You're speaking stylistically. I'm speaking, nigga, like, okay, it's, uh, it's like, remember, remember Lonzo Ball? Right. Lonzo Ball, he's nice as this, but man, they got a baby brother who's colder. Yeah. So people was like, yo, Tyler's amazing doing this, but they got a young nigga over there. But man, he is he, colder though. Yeah, but I'm saying but he didn't <laughs> but he didn't turn into what what you think of Tyler. Earl didn't reach that peak pinnacle, even musically. Earl didn't reach that peak musically. He he didn't, bruh. I don't, what he do you did. mean though? Like, because he come. absolutely did. Like no this way. last shit with you, Alchemist is crazy. With, I know you fuck with him, but what, you know what I mean. Peak musically, I kind of like do, where like I, because Earl doesn't get. You have to be in tune with Earl to be able to understand and give give Earl his flowers. Yeah, if the, the 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 common, the majority. Isn't even some people probably know who Earl yeah. is. Depending maybe, on what age maybe that's at. my problem. But I'm always not, thinking from the perspective of a rap fan. Like I'm not even like uh, from from a mass standpoint. In that regard, like a rapper like Currency is like not really. That's my guy. He's he's in that five I talked about. Yeah, but he's like he's a rapper that like you probably. Like people, he could walk through Walmart yes. right. He could walk yes. through this shit right now, yes. and people probably wouldn't. And, he, and you know what? You know what Spitter was supposed to be. He was supposed to be Drake before Drake. He was the exactly, one exactly right behind Wayne. But was what's even to, but they, better that, is that he is the nigga he is now. Yeah, like yes, he, I love Spitter. He is. I love. I love Spitter to yeah. death. I and again, together, created bro. so many yes, babies. I, I, Everybody want to be Spitter. This is one of them, but I, he, I that Wiz hey, is, Wiz is hey, one of them. Wiz is one of and them. And I think he would say that He's to a degree. Them. He might not. I think he definitely gives Spitter credit. Yes, but well, he, he gets, definitely does. But I don't know that he. Wiz is, I don't I mean, think he Spitter. checks his fans enough on them oh, no, giving. For sure. No, no. Well, because he has two, he has the the fans outweigh. So the fans that came after the success and the fans that were there before the success, like the amount of fans that came after the success, mm-hmm. they just know Wiz from Black and Yellow. Yeah, and, and he's eat, a pop and, you know, star. Eat my whole body type shit. Like yeah. they don't know Wiz. the earlier Wiz. Like they don't understand. Like nigga, yeah. he got on papers yeah. because of Spitter. Yeah, Spitter you know changes like, niggas. Turn the whole yeah, like he got on papers around, because of this. Key. Like, like bro, rolling papers. I mean, not rolling papers. Uh, what's the take they got together? Uh, uh no, no, not you're right. Rolling papers rolling is, papers. is uh, How fly? How fly? Yeah. So much heat on that, bro. Yeah. But they linked, and it's like, yeah, we had similarities. We were cool, but you could definitely tell, like Spitter, like Spitter gave him. I don't want to say the game plan. I want to say Spitter. Yeah. Spitter gave him the juice. Yeah, and, and I got Wiz, that game from my niggas Wiz, down New Orleans. And Wiz, <laughs> 2010. I know it was, they had a lot of people in that 2010, were like interested. Everybody was trying to sign our future in time. Yeah. Earl was in trouble. Like he was in military yeah, school they, or some they, shit. Yeah, he had got sent away. For sure. He got sent away, but he had some shit out there. And everybody was saying the back and yeah, forth that, that him and Tyler used to do on the songs and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that first project, uh, shit, I think it's called Earl. That yeah. shit is. So, bro, the, the songs that Earl and Tyler is like, bro, yeah, Tyler's the star is doing the thing, but they was like, but that yeah. Earl dude, man, wait till Earl gets home. 
It was the Earl gone. He's coming home. Mm -hmm. That added some like mystique to this. That he's the young nigga. He yeah. comes home. He's rapping his ass off. Like, yeah. I, I, I just think like for the most part. I mean, shit. I even thought I said, Yo, Earl's about to take off. He's about to be like fuck Tyler. Like I fuck with Tyler, but Earl's about to be the nigga. To me, I feel like Earl was gonna take off, and he just never did though. Ugh. But he, I, I, I get what you mean, but like. I think to have expected that from him is like, nah. I, I I don't know where else he could go than where he is right now. He's in such a perfect like lane. Like to I the think top of the world. I think to, he's at the top. No, of the world. he's at the top of his world. He's I like, get he, what you he's mean. He's at the top of his world. But what's the top of the world? Like I, I mean, the, pinnacle, the pinnacle. What's the pinnacle though? I don't want to say whatever you make it. Because if whatever you make it, then it would be your world. Yeah. But I, I, I will say that I will say that we all have we have a level of something where where you say like financially. You know yeah, yeah. there's a certain number like if I hit that number, I'm comfortable. Mm -hmm. If I hit up here, nigga, I was whatever. Yeah, yeah. I've I can do I've done made it. Yeah. I can yeah. do whatever I want. So like how you say how Tyler He's making shoes and doing this and that. Mm. Tyler's hit a point where he never has to make music ever again. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm good forever. And I'm not saying Earl necessarily has to. Yeah, okay. But I can still see in 15, 20 years, if Earl still wants to rap and he's able to rap, I still think he will. Yeah. I, I think, think he just enjoys in, to rap. I think in 15, 20 years, but also... At some point, your enjoyment to rap and do stuff like that, eventually, if it's what you did to make a living off of, if you got to keep doing it, you're going to keep doing it. Mm. You got to make a living off of it. I don't think Tyler, he could step away from it and not make a living off his shit no more. Yeah. Like, I think that that's how he looks at it. And I think that's, I think it's the goal for most people. Yeah. To just, I can just do anything I want. Yeah. If I want to sleep for 20 days straight, I'm going to sleep for 20 days. I'm yeah. Not doing, I'm not getting out there. I'm not coming out the house. I'm not coming, you know what I'm saying? It's just, sure. I can just do, I can move different. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm, at, I'm, at, I'm beyond comfortable. Yeah. Well off. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I think musically, like, I think that's like the pinnacle for certain shit. Like, I think Drake's been there. I think Drake's been there since Views. I think realistically, I think he was done after Views in his in his head. That was his plan. Mm -hmm. Views didn't get the reception he liked. Mm -hmm. Views was kind of, you asked some people, it was some of his weakest shit. He looked at Views as that was supposed to be his... This is my this is my this is my classic. Mm. Views is my classic. Mm. Even with the whole Meek Mill beefing, like that shit added on to it. The views was supposed to be his classic. Yeah. It you know what I'm saying? So now I think he's been a lot of times in some of his projects, I think he's been fishing. Like he's hunting for the classes, hunting, hunting, yeah. hunting versus just letting the shit come to him, like how Take Care sounded, how nothing was the same mm. sound. You know what I'm saying? You could say uh, so far gone sounded. Like the mm -hmm. music kind of just came to him, whereas now he's like I gotta have a classic. I gotta have a classic. And he's just like, I'm just gonna come out with the best music, best music, best music. And it's like, I don't think that's how you get a classic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because some shit can have amazing music on it, but all the classics that you would think of, like, you gotta be able to at least connect moments yeah. to it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think his music has been able to have moments connected to it. In yeah. Years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. 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 But yeah, enough about uh, Earl. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Earl is Drake, yeah, but enough yeah, about, yeah, yeah, yeah. but enough about Earl. Um, so you also do the Louis Vuitton as well. Mm -hmm. What's your, what's your role in, as as far as that goes? Uh, so I'm one of the original organizers of Louis Vuitton. Um, we started in 2014. Um really as a collective of people who really wanted to help grow um, the hip-hop scene, the culture, and build resources for for artists, uh, specifically hip-hop artists in, in the city. Um, and so we created a series of roundtables that inspired um, us to, to, to create this festival uh, called Louis Vuitton. And, um, yeah, we've been eight years running and, um, yeah, man, it's, 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 it's been a ride for sure. Yeah. yeah. So, so what all goes into running 
a festival. Um, because I've done events before, just yeah. solo standoff events, smaller magnitude, mm-hmm. less acts. You know what I'm saying? And um, mm-hmm. I did it one time. Shit didn't go right. Mm. Never did it again. Mm. Um, so what goes into so what goes mm-hmm. into doing a festival, doing it? Because I think y'all started out one day originally. Uh no, we 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 started off two days. Two days. Yeah, we we we've always been multiple days. Uh-huh. Uh, but we started off two days, um, April sixteenth and seventeenth of two thousand four. Uh, no, two thousand sixteen. Sixteen. Eight years. Yeah. Um, and, um, yeah, what goes into it, man, is a lot of care and a lot of attention to detail. And throughout the years, we've learned a lot, um, and from, from our mistakes, our successes, just really just, just being thoughtful and being mindful of like, um, the things we, we wanted to see in, um, in a show, what we have seen, what we, you know, we, we haven't, it, you know, because Tay, um, the other original organizer, like, he's a big, like, music festival goer. Like, he's been going to, you know, music festivals all over the country for, yeah. for years. And so um, it was definitely, like, near and dear to his heart to try to create, recreate that magic that he felt. patient and uh being willing to grow with the people around you um and, and adapt to the constant and growing changes ever you know because yeah man we've just seen a lot yeah. over time you know okay so what's the I'm gonna say what's the criteria? Well, yeah, what's the like what's the criteria? Like what like what goes into y'all picking the artists, the days, like like what goes into that? Yeah, um, so that's you know, for us <laughs> that's funny you ask because that's been the the hardest thing for us is um really being fair and being mindful and being aware and being like present of like the scene overall and capturing every part of the city that we can you know uh west end newburgh uh east end um you know wherever people are are creating in the city and and trying to be include as inclusive as we possibly can to mm. to everybody. And so to answer that question, um, really, it, it, it's about uh, those roundtables really help out a lot. Not necessarily in how we pick the artists, you know, because I don't want to get that misconstrued. Like, oh, you come to the roundtable, you get picked. But it's really like that visibility. Like, what what are you doing in your community as an artist? So it's like. Um, you know, how are you building with the people around you? Um, what, what, um, reach do you have with the people in the city, you know? Um, and again, we don't always get it right. And I think that's where, um, it's, it's been a lot of like, um, maybe more so recently. Um, and no, that's not true. Just overall, since we began, it's been like, you know, push back on like, well, how did they get in? And, you know, mm-hmm. um, and, I, and I just, I just really want people to understand it's never anything personal. Um, I think what we haven't really made clear and what we try to make clear, especially through the round tables is that we're very approachable people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, in fact, and I won't say the artist's name, but there was an artist that really came. It really it meant a lot to me because they felt that artist felt like they had been overlooked, mm. and they came to me personally and was like, "Yo, I feel a way about this. Let's talk about it in a very mature way." Yeah, and that was like that meant a lot to me because I think so often it's easy for people to 
get online and get on their platform. And I understand because I, I, I've done it. I, you know, I jump out the window from time to time, but it's easy for people to get on their platform and say, you know, um, fuck Louis Bob or I feel slighted or they did me wrong or this or that when it's like, damn, I just wish people knew that they could just come to me and they didn't have to like jump out the window like that, you know? Yeah. Um, but I get the frustration at the same time. Absolutely. I, 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 I know you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I absolutely get it, man. Because um, when you've been working hard on your art yeah. and you feel like you should be recognized, and you should be seen. That shit hurt. Yeah. And I'm not saying that I'm not trying to speak for any artist and saying that they are hurt or they yeah. should feel whatever way. But like, I can understand. Like, it's easy for me to sit in this position and say, like, don't feel away or, um, or or or, you know, toughen up or whatever it may be. But like. When you feel like you are constantly being overlooked, then it's like, shit, it's up now, you know. And, and I, I, <laughs> I think a part of it is, yeah, it's just, it's just rap is just competitive, like you know, yeah, you know, it's just, um, and so just in terms of like us, like picking the artists, we really try to be thoughtful and like mindful of of curating like a like a perfect show for people to like really enjoy for people to get all different facets of the city um and i think that we've been able to provide that in, now, a, in a major way i'll be honest sometimes i look well last few times i look it was a decent amount of people i'd heard of now a lot of my half because mm -hmm. i've been doing the music stuff but it'd be like well, it's like on Saturday, because Saturday is your biggest day. It's mm -hmm. usually the first two lines. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I've never heard of them people before. I've never seen them before. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, They're probably yeah. younger. they probably yeah. just really getting into it. Tyson's yeah. like, okay. I can see if they got people like that that are interested or people that they want to show love to, it would be the people that are kind of just starting out to be the people who are yeah. looking for the opportunity. Like, man, I've never performed before. They give me opportunity to be on the stage and move around and I can have an idea. Like when I do perform at other spots, I can stand here, I can stand there, I can do this, yeah. I can do my hands like this. I got to figure out what I'm gonna do with my hands. You know what I'm saying? We, it's like we stuff gave, like that. We gave Marsh her, literally her very first performance ever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. We we had never seen her like she was just somebody who stood out to us at the time, and we were like, "Yo, we should have her on." Yeah. And then like literally, I think that either that year or the next year, she was in a studio with Timbaland. Yeah. <laughs> and not because of us. Like yeah, I want to yeah, make yeah, that yeah. very clear. It wasn't. No, it was all you know. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't because of us. But he it saw was, the shit. He tuned in, <laughs> right? But but it was just, it's just it's just stuff like that where people might have been like, "Who is she? who yeah, is Mars? Shit. Like, why would you put her?" And then they and like, then they can call back and be like, "Oh, I remember her. She was at Louis Vuitton." Yeah. yeah, and then it's like and now they can connect. Yeah, no, I, I, I it's yeah. it's a it's beneficial for both sides, and I think it it serves a purpose as far as building the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Now. I definitely want to talk about the ecosystem. Now, I will say uh, two things. The artist that you were speaking of, I do think, me personally, I do think he is one of the better Wait, people who, who make... I mean, and I because I don't care to say... But who do you think I'm talking about? Baron Lee. Oh, that's actually not who I was it's talking not, about. It's another... No, okay. no, that's See, not I, who I was talking I'm about. I'm thinking you speaking of Baron Lee because I was no, like... No, 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 that's not who... And I'm glad that we cleared that up because... Yeah. I know that he is somebody who would probably see this and be like, yeah. oh, it's not, it's not, yeah, okay. no, it was okay. not, yeah, okay. no, no, I was not talking okay. about that. Okay, well, yeah. I know he's, but, I, I, but, uh, but yes, absolutely. And, and, I've, and, and, I, and, yeah. and I've, and I, and I've quit, I'm like, damn, like, yeah. he should probably beat her, or he should probably at least at some point, mm -hmm. because to his credit, I've seen him, I don't, I don't know about locally, but I know he's put in, 
work. Mm-hmm. I've seen him putting in his thousand jump shots. Mm-hmm. Like I've seen he's done, he's gone here, he's gone there, he's tried this, he's tried yeah. that. He put out music free. Like he's tried all different things. Mm-hmm. He's your prototypical nigga rapper. Uh this is this is all I know, this is all I want. I'm gonna find a way to make this dream happen. I'm outside the radio station rapping for seven hours a day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He like loves the it, rap for sure. That's what he would do. Um so when he was going on his little thing about it, I was like, damn, that nigga should be there. You know what I'm saying? And so like, yeah, I just I just wanted to yeah. Yeah, it, I, I I will say the thing with with him was I think disheartening because again, and, and there's no way for him to really maybe know this, but like we're approachable people and it I can promise you there's never been a moment where I've been in a room with my team and we've been like, fuck Baron Lee. No, he doesn't deserve to be on this year. He'll never get on. That, and I know movie, from his from funny. his point of view, it's funny. it's it's fuck Louis Bob at this point for him, and I yeah. respect that. Yeah, I cannot yeah. that means yeah. nothing to me. Yeah. However, I <laughs> but I understand I understand why he feels that way. Yeah. Because he feels like, Well damn, how do y'all keep fucking skipping me and forgetting me? And yeah. it's like, damn, like again, we don't we just we miss some shit. Yeah, like yeah. But I wish that it could have been, and I know that maybe maybe there's some shit I miss. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because we, you know, we don't all get the same messages. But I wish that it could have maybe been more before it became like a fuck Louis Vuitton. I wish it could have been like a, you know, like the conversation okay. I had with the other artists who came to me and was like, "Hey." I feel slighted. Yeah. You know, that would have been really, you know, but I can't, you, he don't know me. Yeah. You know? yeah he don't I don't, know. I've yeah, never, probably don't know. to my memory at least, I, I don't know that he and I have ever had a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so exactly. it's like, why would he know that he could just be like, oh, let me hit Dave real quick and see what the fuck is up, yeah. you know? But it, it, that, but that shit like that be like, yeah. damn, like, um, no, you're right. Yeah, like there's a there, another artist, and I'll I'll say his name just because he and I talked about it. But like another artist, I'm like, damn, we should have fucking. I wish we had thought to have him on YGBJ. Yeah, like, dog, we just we fucked up. Yeah. Like, you know, I mean, it happens. But like, yeah, it happens. I think it just. I think I take it personally when niggas be like thinking it's some. Like it's some evil plot. Like, it's, like it's a plot against them. Like what? Like niggas don't want to put me on, bro. No, bro. Like, <laughs> no, I know what you're saying. Yeah, I don't even be on fucking IG and Twitter. Well, t- I do be on Twitter a lot, but I don't be on IG as much as I should. But anytime I see niggas shit, yeah, for the most part, if I really fuck with you, I'm reposting that shit. You know for what sure. I'm saying? Like, sure. so it's like I just I don't know. I I know. I know I know what that festival means to people though. But I think also what people don't realize about Louis Vuitton is that it's not just about that it's not just about the festival in April. Like we have not as much as we used to, but we're creating more opportunities throughout the year to where it's where it's not so much like where niggas feel like they got to like almost compete for like the festival time yeah. in April. You know what I'm saying? Some shit they can do. And so it's like, I don't know. I just I just hope niggas are willing to be patient enough to like work with us. But I can't expect that. Because I want niggas to create opportunities for themselves. Like Louis Vuitton yeah. can't we I, I won't say we can't last forever, but like I'm getting old, dog. Like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like um and eight years don't seem like a lot of time but like that's a lot of time it's a lot of time you know what i'm saying so it's like we want to pass this shit down to somebody um and or and if we don't pass the shit down we want to see somebody create something like louis vaugh for people to enjoy and invest in that's a good segue because the tweet that I saw mm-hmm. was 
I don't know. I don't know what people were saying, but basically, just some of what you said was y'all should be on festival. Then. Start your own fucking festival, and then you can do whatever the fuck you want to do with it. <laughs> is what is is I think exactly what I said because because of like that came from a place of like anger and like hoping to like really i i really actually mean that like i'm not it wasn't just like oh dave just mad now like no like bro y'all are talking about well why didn't y'all do this or why would y'all do this like this and i would have had this person on and i would have put this person at this time and i would have done this and i would have had it this way and it's like but it's not your shit so (laughs) but but it let me because I'm speaking from a place of of anger, yeah. even at saying that, because truly it's not my shit either. And so I hear people and I hear what you're saying, but it's still frustrating because we we're we're I think because we're being mindful of the people. And I think that's why I like. I, I, I speak in, in that selfish way, because truly what we say and we mean that shit and i'm not just saying this as like uh, some media type shit but like we louis Vov is not for you it's not for me it's for us we created this shit to build community like we do a, and this is again not to create some brownie points but like we do a community event every saturday of the festival so that the artists that are on the like the main artists, if yeah. you will, uh, or the maybe more established or experienced artists yeah, is yeah. a better word that are on the bill can come to that event and see young people do their shit and network and mentor them. Yeah, and that is our hope every time. Does it always happen? No, but that's what it's about is building that type of community. Rappers, rappers coming together um, to like find other rappers to collaborate with or to make beats with or to, you know, um, just grow. I don't know, man. It's, 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 It's not for me. And I understand like it's a lot about the performance for people. But for me, it's about, yo, what are we building together as a community? in Louisville hip hop, you know? Yeah, so that <clears throat> that that goes into my one of my one of my last parts. The ecosystem. Mm-hmm. You call it the community, I call it ecosystem. Mm-hmm. Same shit. Whatever. I just call it ecosystem because ecosystem is built of multiple moving parts. For sure. I feel like that the ecosystem and not only just Louisville but Kentucky as a whole is everybody is segregated and you got everybody not working together like if you look i remember when bryson tiller first came on the scene i don't say first but when he first popped mm-hmm. trap shows out 2015 mm-hmm. 502 come up move was next it's about to be a hot bed they about to start coming here and picking artists and shit who they saying all this shit blase blase and it's like oh shit Oh shit! Let's just get active. Let's get active. Mm-hmm. I, and then, I got cameras. Hey, I do this. I, and it's like linking up. Boom, 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 doing shit. And I think we. I'm not gonna say we missed our window. I take that back. We missed a prime opportunity. The window was wide open between 2015, 2017. Wide open. And I feel like we're in the same position now. As we were then. I don't mm-hmm. think we've, as a community, ecosystem, whatever, I don't think we've grown like we mm-hmm. should have off the backs of a Bryson, off the backs of a Jack. Like, that matters. Mm-hmm. Like, we got Diet Drake. Like, Damn. and that's not even a slight. Like, that's. <laughs> Drake, Jake, Jack yeah. is amazing, bro. Yeah. I don't know if but, I call him Diet Drake, so. <laughs> I get, I, I get what you're saying. You know what it is. Like, okay, what we built yeah, off yeah, the yeah. backs of yeah. these these two niggas. You can throw in G. You can throw in the fact Timberland has came here twice. 
I'm not saying he came here physically, but he's came here and gotten talent twice in yeah. the past 10 years. Yeah. We have nothing to show for it, bro. We got a basketball court. Lil Wayne got nothing to show from it, bro. Yeah. Like, like, bro, like, literally, bro, like, if this was Atlanta, they, mm. they, they taking it and running. Mm. Memphis, they taking it and running. Mm. Chicago, they taking it and they run. It's like mm -hmm. all these places where it's like, why can't Louisville do the same, bro? If you look around, like the media is so behind. Like what, mm. what type of? I don't even want to say urban, but what type of major publication, bro? People around here still get excited about being on the news, and there's nothing wrong with the news, bro. <laughs> but. <laughs> But you get what I'm saying, bro. Like, your daily news anchor is still a celebrity out yeah. here, bro. Like, you go to some of these other places, bro. It's it's the it's the motherfuckers at the main radio station. Like, like you got the Funk Flesh's. You got the big boys. Like, you got the, the I don't know their names in Atlanta, but they, they syndicated it everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like, you know the radio station. You know the numbers. Like, you know what time it is when they come on. Yeah. And it's like... Those are the stars, the people that are doing the fucking off the porches, the people that are doing the say cheeses, the do the, all these cities. And it's like, bro, they have the personality. They got the publications like they got the Instagram comedians. They get, bro, they got everything. And they they all intertwine, bro. They all work together. I feel like in Louisville, bro, that shit is so many. When the personalities link, they linking and they fighting. Mm. Like they not meshing at all. Mm. I don't know why. Motherfuckers don't like each other at all. You got all these different factions. You got all these fucking media uh, uh, publications and stuff, but nobody's really yeah. working together to help each other up. Like a motherfucker will have a studio, but he ain't got nothing to do with or nothing to put in there. And you got motherfuckers who got all this equipment, all this content that they can make. They ain't got no space. But I got the space. Yeah. Nigga, like, come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I can get, I can, it's like, bro, it's so everybody want to be, bro. Everybody want to be Desi. Nobody wants to be the niggas in the video helping Desi. Mm -hmm. I didn't see, bro. I remember I used to watch someone. I used to watch uh, early skin bone videos. Mm -hmm. All them niggas that used to be in his shit, that still be in his shit, they all got their own waves too now. Like mm -hmm. they, bro, I don't know why everybody wants to be the main nigga all the time, bro. It's like, nigga, you not going to be Drewski. You gonna be the nigga that's getting Drewski the towel, nigga. You gonna be the nigga in the video who Drewski talking shit to. Like you gonna be, you gonna be the nigga driving the car. Like nigga, you in the skit too, bro. Like all that yeah. shit, y'all a team, bro. Just like for me, I'm like, bro, like that shit is. I just don't understand why motherfuckers don't work together, bro. For like Louis Vuitton, y'all been doing shit for eight years, bro. Mm. And y'all have had Jack perform there, correct? Once. Technically, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, okay, but even what you said. It wasn't outright. He, he showed up with the homies. Okay, and, and, okay, yeah. so this is my thing. And that's, I love them dudes, bro. Like, I got love for niggas and the homies and shit, bro. You ask me personally, they dropped the ball. Niggas, niggas dropped the ball, bro. Why you say that? Nigga, it's no way in hell. No way in hell. I feel like so. Oh my god, I get, I get in trouble for saying this shit, bro. I, yeah, that's a, that's these, a, yeah. these, I get in trouble for saying this shit because it's the truth. It's I, I'm, the truth. I'm, and it's I'm, the truth. I'm just, I'm just listening. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know. So I went down to Atlanta. This is 2019. Yeah, 2019. I had a conversation with Kiso. Matter of fact, I interviewed him. Went down to Atlanta, interviewed him at um, KY Studio in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Boom. That's a connection. A lot of people don't have that. Mm -hmm. Like, that's that's major for you to be able to say, "Hey, KY, I got an interview going on. Yeah, I'm use your space." And he's, yeah, okay. yeah, that, that's major, right? You get y'all got songs with Jack. Yeah, y'all doing shit with Jack. I'm telling him, bro. I know you having fun. You doing your thing. Don't get stuck behind. What you mean by that? Like, don't get comfortable how this shit feels right now. Mm. Understand that you an artist too. Okay. Yeah, he's an artist. He's the artist. Mm -hmm. But nigga, you make music too, bro. Yeah. You got a career you want to do too, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't think a lot of people understand, bro. Music is a young man's game. 
Yeah, you can be older. Uh, music can, overall, but hip hop yeah, specifically. Yes, they're they're looking for they if there's a competition between a 17 year old and a 24 year old that do the same thing, they're going with the 17 year old mm. every fucking time. So that's why I'm telling him, bro, don't get stuck behind. Like, nigga, you still young. Mm. Nigga, yeah, this shit's fun. It feel good. But nigga, don't forget, you got to you, you gotta use this shit to your advantage. Mm-hmm. Not enough of them did it. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, and, I, and I just feel like, bro, I couldn't have been in that situation. I couldn't have been in close proximity with a Drewski. And I can't even, I don't even, I well, gained nothing from you that. You don't think they... I mean, nope. what, 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 I guess, there's only so much you can really do, right? You of know what I mean? Um, I mean, like, you try and try, you put out music, and you continue to be with the right people at the right place at the right time. Like, they went on tour, and not necessarily to their fault, from what I understand, like, Niggas just wasn't feeling it because it's like we want Jack, like yes, but and it's that's... not, but that's not their fault. Like they just happen to be under a nigga that's really like I think they let likable. I think, they, <laughs> yeah, but I think them with Jack, I think they let that become their identity because the song that they wrote, one of the songs that they pushed the hardest was Leaf Raps. It's yeah, a song that has and, Jack on it, and, and I and think they got that, better music than that. I agree yes so for me yeah, i'm like i agree you got it yes having the jack feature is awesome yeah. don't make that what you're for like if i if i'm asking y'all to send us a demo yeah don't just send the one they got jack on it send us you can but send i that. bet you that's what people what labels were asking for it was like oh you guys are the but then guess what but yeah. y'all don't do enough music with them consistently so now it's like you got yeah. them for this and then you don't i don't i think that was the last time they did a whole song with the nigga bro yeah, because so, I think they, I, I don't know, but I would assume it's like, yo, we got to kind of try to do our own thing. Yeah, but by then it's too late. And by then y'all are labeled as, y'all y'all are literally the homies. <laughs> like y'all are, y'all have literally became the name, bro. Like y'all are literally the homies, bro. And it yeah. sucks. It pains me, bro, because I know that these, I, I, I gave these niggas yeah. their first interview in 2015, 16. Yeah. It was me, all of them. I interviewed, uh, uh, I did a solo with, with Juan. I did Shloob and uh, Kiso. And then I did the DJ. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Ronnie. Yeah. Everybody separate. Only one didn't come back was Ace. He was busy. Cool. Don't care. In part, so I, like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm like, yo, y'all niggas can really, y'all got it. You know what I'm saying? Just stay focused. Stay diligent. Yeah, yeah. Shit starts to go on the up enough for him, bro. And as from like, cause I'm really, I'm really a fan, bro. Like I really remember these niggas. Yeah, music, I, I, I focus them niggas just on a, you know, just on a personal. I mean, I focus their music for yeah, sure. Yeah, for but sure. Just like on a, you know, just they cool young niggas. Good as, good they as cool. Niggas. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, and that's why it Wine makes me mad because I'm like, bro, I remember the beginning. Like, and now I see Jack on TV at the Nick game. He got all white boys around him. It's like, bro, I. I remember there was a time you feel me, and now we get on TV. We got the Celtic game. You get. I this, think those you know are people saying? that he and, and maybe that's the people that the label is like, yeah. "Hey, you can take him and him, but you know what I'm saying, leave everybody else at home." <laughs> and it, that's shitty. And I think Jack battles. With, I don't think Jack wants to be like that at all. I think Jack yeah, battles yeah, yeah. with a lot of the shit that the people in charge tell him that they want and need him to do. I, I think, think the he, industry is just like that in general. He, like, I, a lot of people like, definitely battle with the shit. Yeah, some people like, they just roll you with can the do shit. a song with this person, but you can't do a song with that person, and well, you can't, you can't. Well, at this time, you can't do this because we have got a partnership with this person. Mm-hmm. You can't be just, seen with that person no more. You got to be seen with this person. We're gonna make you friends with this person. Like and it's like, bro, I don't even know this yeah. nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? But that's yeah. that's the game. You know what I'm saying? So it sucks. So like I'm saying, I'm seeing it like, bro. He like. These niggas ain't even visibly around him like that no more. I'm sure they'd be around sometime, but they not. I mean, but what could they be around doing? You know what I mean? Like, I think they. Being artists. Be, I, yeah. I mean, but I think they're. They're doing that on their own. And with, or, or, I think they're doing that on their own and doing that without him and really making a conscious effort, I think, to do that on their own and without him. You talking about individually or together? Individually. I think. In, individually. Together, I think. 
I, I, I think together that that may happen, but I think they're trying to. I, I see them working on separate things, and not saying because I don't know. You know, this is no speculation, but I think right now it seems that they're all focused on their individual respective arts for like sure and Juan as a producer or whatever I Juan Juan is Juan can stand alone yeah Juan, Juan I think he just Juan's been able to stand alone for years yeah. that Juan yeah, doesn't he's, Juan doesn't need yeah, he's I don't think amazing. Juan needs Jack and I don't think Juan needs the homies no more he's he can do his own thing and also has one of the most incredible like projects done like, with the uh the solo uh, growing pains it's dope project but that goes back to my point. It's like, bro, you're talented. And I'm like I said, I don't think he needs Jack. I think he just be chilling, him. bro. And and that could be an issue too. But now it's like him specifically. Him specific but yeah. Shlub is active. Shlub is I think like yeah. he he comes out with a lot of music. Shlub is he comes very out with active, my, he yeah. does out a lot of music. Yeah, yeah. And I know he And I he's think, dope. He's fire. He comes it's, yeah, it's not always necessarily my lane. Oh, my for bad. sure, it's not no, always no. necessarily my lane, but yeah. it's always I always appreciate. You know what, what I like? Yeah, I like Shlu better when he's the feature artist, and I like and I and, and, and I like Shlu a lot when he's on like hooks and shit. Uh -huh. Kind of like a, uh, you know, like you have like some rappers where like they like. Are musicians where they're like specialties, where yeah. they have like certain shit that they do. Yeah. Like well, like I'm not a huge Kodak I, fan, but I'm I love him when Kodak will feature he on the hook. So I feel like he smacks that shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, so it's like certain shit like that. I really I really like Sloop when he be rapping, rapping. Yeah. Like when he be just rap, really yeah, just, just rap, yeah, rapping. Yeah, yeah. yeah just rap. Cause son is nice. Like he's just he's you know, really fucking good. <laughs> I don't, and like I said, Juan is amazing. I think Juan is fine. You know, the most to me, the best rapper in the group is Kiso. Hey, I was about to say, Kiso, bro. I was hey. about to say Kiso is super slept on. But it makes me mad that he's, bro, he he just came out with that EP last year. Yeah, Kiso that, is dangerous. It. And I'm just, and that's why I'm telling him. He's so bro. modest with this shit, man, too. He got to get arrogant, bro. Yeah, he's when you, very when you modest. A, when you I think big, that's his issue, Listen, baby. when you a big nigga, bro. Yeah. For the the style of raps that he rap about, whether he rap about getting girls, he rap about being the flyest, being yeah. the coolest. You a big, and he's a very you, he's he's probably the most. I'm not saying that they're not a pro, but like he's the most a pro. Like like yo, yeah, like, no, he's definitely like he's he just is, yeah. He's what's just, up, man? How you doing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He'll, he'll still open the door, even open the door for something. Yeah, he's you know just a he, very very kind, he's a nice person. man. Like, <laughs> he's, he's, I fuck with but, I fuck with Keith, but man. like. When you a big nigga like that, bro, you gotta be somewhat arrogant, and I think that's part. Yeah. Of, like he's just like I'm. He's yeah. not. He's yeah. not braggadocious enough sometimes. Yeah, yeah, like sometimes, bro, just nigga, just get to talking yeah. shit. Like you yeah. already behind. And he did. He did that on on. Uh, the EP Kesha was cool. Right. Yeah. He, he, the, the EP was cool, and I, I I I've heard unreleased from him, bro. Like he got dope shit. Out. I just yeah. wish he. I wish he would put some of that. Um, it's like, bro, you could put that shit out, bro. Like, yeah, more, I think if he got in his active. like kind of. Definitely still do like the singing shit, but mm -hmm. if he got in like a rapping bag, like where he was like doing both in a crazy way, yeah. it's not like he's not doing the rapping, but like I'm talking like where niggas just like, whoa, yeah, whoa, type shit. No, <laughs> no, Kiso can go, bro. Kiso can go, bro. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely, he's definitely my, definitely my favorite in the group. But um, yeah, bro, we didn't talk for a minute. Yeah. We talked about your beginning. We didn't talk about the ecosystem. Yeah. We talked about some quality acts in the city. Uh, any yeah. last words? Uh, man, just uh, shout out uh, the homie Teji, Vashti, uh, A.D. Kendall, Alan Vice, Shy. That's crazy. Uh, A.D. Let, AD yeah. got a track on her last album, I think. The one with the cars on it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't forget the dot. I think so. It got the cars. It's like a blue cover. Yeah, yeah. But, it's uh, like she a, got it's the, like a. Um... She got the shit. Uh, was it Duckworth? No, Mighty Ducks. Oh yeah, Mighty Ducks is crazy. <laughs> Mighty, Mighty Ducks. Is Ooh, crazy. but look, first time I heard it, I'm sitting. I'm like, yeah. I ran it with back. the Rowley production. Yeah, I was sitting there like, yeah, smack this. Yeah. Like, and that you know what makes me mad, bro. Ad, if you see this, 
Please put that on YouTube. It's not on YouTube. It's not on YouTube? Last I checked, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a, but I could, if I, because I, I, I use YouTube music, so yeah, I like yeah. to push, and I'm like, yeah, I, I ain't got my YouTube music. It's a couple of you niggas out here with shit that's not on YouTube. Yeah, man. some older yeah. shit like uh, first, yeah. first in flight, Taylor Rogers, not on YouTube. Man, Classic that's album. only on SoundCloud. Let me start But my own, my own, great man. project, great yeah. project. But put it on YouTube, please, for me. I love Mighty yeah. Ducks, bro. Yeah, That's Parson one of my flight is one of my favorite. But yeah, Mighty Ducks is incredible, man. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, uh, Doughboy, um, Horace Gaither, Nice, Otez. Um, yeah, shout out my little sister Jasmine. Shout out my girl. Her birthday was a couple of days ago, and this is probably you like. Forget. No, 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 I didn't freak it no, 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 no. I'm alive, man. No, oh, nigga, I'm here, ain't it? No. Um, I mean, shit, by the time this comes out, it's going to be weeks from her. But, yeah. but yeah, um, but yeah, no, shout out just to everybody, man. Yeah. Shout out to the whole family. Shout out to Clay. That nigga is clutch. Man, man I was Wavy just, boys. I was just listening to, uh, he got a track. Well, it's not his. Uh, it's on Ivory's album in real life that, uh, Damn, I can't think of the fucking name, but it's it's play Ivory and, and first shift. Okay, yeah, still goes, bro. Yeah, I I, I like the posse cussing when I yeah. like I like niggas that just rap, bro. Yeah, like I can't think of the nigga's name. I think the name is Romel. Oh man, he got a he got a track with a, I, I know I know you know Romel is one of the nastiest fucking bro. But he got a track with he got a track with is it track King Kai? Probably. I don't know. But they just they just rap. Yeah, trap is nice too. They just I'm talking about, and that's yeah. and maybe that's why I Yeah, nah, I, man. I mean, it's so many people <laughs> like they, Bro, it's, like it's, you, do you fuck rap. with Dom B? Yeah. Bro, Dom B is always I to this day I say Dom B is your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. Like that nigga is like one of the best yeah. rappers I've ever heard in my life. Like and freestyles like just like he wrote the shit like yeah. and you almost be like this nigga wrote this shit and then the nigga will rap about every poster in this room and you be like damn yeah. what the fuck yeah. how did he do that <laughs> no. no yeah no, it's, 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 it's some it's some nice yeah. ass, it's some nice yeah yeah here, man you know? so many people I could I could yeah. name uh, yeah. Furious Floyd shout out him uh, yeah anyway but people it's been another episode of Opinionated yep. Facts. I'm your host, Drizzle. Dave Wilchris. And we out. Peace.